This is a case study of two different cases of lipomas, one large and one small in two different patients. Panoramic view of the lipoma shows a huge lipoma of the leg measuring more than 8 by 2 centimeters. Ultrasound images show that the lipoma shows multiple areas of lobulation which is typically seen in any fatty tumor. Lipomas can vary in size from anywhere between less than 2 cm to more than 7 to 8 cm in size. Superficial or subcutaneous lipomas are usually smaller in size, while deeper lipomas are very large, can be very large in size. This large lipoma of the leg is seen as an ovoid, well-defined, well-encapsulated mass. Being large in size, this lipoma shows moderate internal vascularity. The lipoma is hyperechoic and homogeneous and more echogenic than the adjacent muscle tissue. The lipoma shows preservation of the adjacent muscle and subcutaneous tissue planes. Spectral Doppler study of one of the vessels within the large lipoma shows a clearly arterial flow pattern. This does not sound ominous but needs to be studied in detail but is commonly seen in large tumors of this size. It does not suggest that the lipoma is malignant. Penis flow is also noted as seen in this spectral Doppler study of another vessel within the lipoma. The presence of both arterial and venous flow in this lipoma is due to the fact that the lipoma is rather, larger, rather large in size. Smaller lipoma may not show any internal vascularity on color Doppler as we shall see in the next case study. This patient is a second case and shows a small lipoma measuring less than 2 cm on the anterior abdominal wall. This lesion too is well encapsulated and homogeneous. It is moderately echogenic as is typical of a lipoma. Lipomas are not tender and not painful either. A power Doppler study of this small lipoma shows no significant internal vascularity. A lipoma may show uh, other kinds of tissues such as fibrous and muscle tissue within the tumor mass. Follow-up ultrasound is advised.